Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, uh, I'm going to be quickly showing off a really fucking awesome build that I have concocted here. Um, it involves worthy mods and dawn mods. That's all you need. So if you have that kind of gear, oh actually I just lied there. You, know, you need one arrivals mod, but you can use uh, worthy gear for that. So if you have worthy gear, then you can still do that. But anyway, um, getting into the weapons for the build, uh, or the, the weapons that the build is focused around, uh, obviously Falling Guillotine, uh, this is the god roll, Relentless Whirlwind with Sword Masters, unfortunately I don't have Jagged, I really wish I did, but this is the best I'm going to get for a while, so it was a fast masterwork there, I actually just got it yesterday, so that's why I don't have many kills, um, we got Death Adder, Dragonfly Subsistence, this is the Recluse replacement, I've got a few of them, Personally, don't like Feed and Frenzy on it. Um, I don't like Subsistence anyway. I actually really like Dynamic. I, I am looking for a Dynamic Sway Reduction Dragonfly Death Adder, but the game doesn't want to give me it, so fuck you. Um, and then we got Masterwork with the Horde, which is the main man here, but besides the sword, uh, with the Horde and Fallen Guillotine are like the best things for this build. So, first off, I got Eye of Another World. Um, if you see my Powerful Friends video, you'll see that I use Eye of Another World there too. I, I use Eye of Another World for everything. I very rarely take this off. The only time I take it off really is when I go into PvP and I use Ophidians. Um, other than that, I don't use anything else, to be honest. I fucking love this exotic. Um, so what it does, it increases my grenade, melee, and rift abilities. Grenade is the main focus here. Um, we're gonna get, we're gonna get into that. So, here we have Protective Light. This is the first main mod you're going to want to get. Uh, this is a Dawn mod. Uh, the Gunsmith can sell it. I don't know if he's going to be able to sell it after September, but he can sell it. Um, Undying Gear can use this, and Worthy Gear can use this, but Undying Gear is getting sunset in September. So, I don't recommend investing in that. What I do recommend is investing in Garden of Salvation armor. Um, the reason why you want to do that is because it doesn't sunset until season 14, which is all the way in September 2021. So that's that's why you want to invest in at least one piece of gear here. I actually have two um, in case I want to switch things around. You know, I don't know, maybe I'm using Controverse, I don't know. And I need Protective Light because I just replaced it. Um, there you go. But yeah, get a piece of garden gear, because this is not going to get sunsetted. You can go with Dawn, you can go with Worthy, but eventually they will be sunsetted before the next DLC comes out. Um, so, it's not really recommended. I recommend just getting garden gear. It's very easy to get. The raid is still going to be available for the rest of next year. Um, even after VOG comes out, I'm fairly certain. So yeah. Garden gear. Get that. Get protective light. Make sure it's void. It can only be void. Um, you will lose strength. Hopefully you're not investing in strength because you will lose it. It minus is 10. So keep that in mind. Next up we have how we get charged. I probably should have started with this. But oh well. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't. I, this, this is kind of personal preference. Personally I'm using orbs because orbs are very very easy to get. You quite literally only have to just shoot things with a masterwork weapon, and you should really be using masterwork weapons all the time. So that's very easy to do. We just kill that guy. Uh, there's no orb. Okay. Uh, let's just pretend an orb dropped. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's get another one. There we go. There's an orb. Ow. Charge with light. Now, protective light will work when we hit the red. We're basically unkillable with this. So, that's awesome. We've got taken charge to get um, charge light. There are a number of mods you can use to get charged. Um, you can use certain weapons to get charged. Here we go. We've got hand cannons, bows, scout rifles. That kind of person use these. This is an arrivals mod available on Worthy and Arrivals gear, and also the gear in September. So if you want that, invest in that gear. Um, we got this. This only goes to times one, by the way. This only goes to one charge of light, so I do not recommend using this. Um, this is arguably the worst charge of light based mod in the game, because you only get one charge. If you're going to use something that would benefit off one charge, then use that. 
But for something like protective light, it's not worth it. Don't don't invest in this. The rest, good to go. Everything's up to you. You can use whatever you want. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got we got some here. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are on everything. Like these these three right here are on every single piece of gear in the game. I'm pretty sure. So even. Even, I think, Last Wish gear. Oh, no, no, maybe not Last Wish gear. Or um, Scourge. Those won't be available because they were too long ago. I think Crown gear and Levy gear can. I don't have any on me to check. But I, I think they can. Don't quote me on that. If they can, go for it. Taking Charge is the best option, though, because everything can have it, right? Um, and onto the final mod here. We have Lucent Blade. Which is your big damage dealer for these two. You pop with the horde. You pop the sword. You should be charged a light by that point. You get five seconds of uh, keened or keening, which is the actual name of the buff, loosen blade. Um, and it's going to only take one stack. So technically, you should have two stacks at that point. Um, protective light is more of a fail safe. If you're going to die, Protective Light will keep you alive long enough to get out. Um, my super fast grenade cooldowns, which is actually 29 or 28 seconds there, because I have I have Another World, will give me grenades. And I can just keep on spamming healing grenades if shit goes down. Um, we also have the greatly increased charge rate for swords. That, on top of Swordmaster's Guard... Is like what three second cooldown, four second cooldown? It's fucking insane. All right, let's uh let's test this out. So we're charged. He's full health. We've got a fresh sword. Uh, let's get whirlwind off this guy. Let's do full whirlwind five. I'm gonna need another charge for this. I think. Let's do that real quick. Very easy to do. I didn't even have to reload my gun because I have subsistence on this thing. I don't really like subsistence, but I mean, it comes in handy, right? So, let's get charged here. Or, uh, whirlwind. Are you fucking serious? Alright, pretend that didn't happen. Alright, here we go, here we go. He should get pretty close to dying here. Oh, okay, he's just dead. Alright, so, as you can see, you shit out damage. Just lose some blade. I actually didn't do this, though. Here we go, let's do this. Actually, I think if I switch weapon, it's going to take away whirlwind. I did, but whatever. So we can do this. You know what I just noticed just then? I don't know if anyone else noticed that. But it didn't use Lucent Blade. It didn't use the perk. Is it bugged? It just bugged the perk? It's not giving me the, the perk. Hello? Again? Oh, there we go. Hell yeah, let's go in. Did I have the perk at the start? I don't think I did. I did 12Ks there. I don't remember seeing 12Ks. Alright, so anyway. He dies to the sword anyway. With the horde's kind of useless for that guy. Uh, I've got to admit. For more... Versatile and resi resilient bosses. It's a brilliant strap. So, uh, that's it. I just wanted to show off um, this little build. You can tune it up to your liking. You can change your weapons around or whatever. Um, I just definitely recommend using Wither Horde and a sword with Lucent Blade, 100%. Protective Light is broken. You, you're literally unkillable with this. Um, it's awesome. And it's more of a failsafe for when you're going in and damaging with a sword. So more or less you'll be in a situation where I mean if you're sitting in a well you probably won't be in this situation but if you're just going up to a, a random enemy right and they're quite tough they require a lot of sword attention and you're just going in doing your thing and they start slamming you you go to red that's where protective light can save you because you're unkillable in that moment and you can just run away or heal up with a grenade like this or whatever and you can just keep on going in because you'll only be using one charge with Lucent Blade, so you will more like more 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 or less have 
another charge for protective light. Uh, Raph Rasputin here is completely irrelevant. This is you don't need to look at this. This is just for subsistence. Sword ammo, grenade ammo. Beefy stats. That's about it. This chess piece is just here for stats, really. And really good perks. Um, so, yeah. I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this video was kind of all over the place. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I should really script these things, but whatever. Thanks for watching. Adios.